Hi guys, it's Miss Crescenzo again. Today we're going to be reading the story Clara Caterpillar, and this is by Pamela Duncan Edwards, and it's illustrated by Henry Cole. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to our first page. One day, a cream-colored butterfly laid an egg on a cabbage leaf. Grow up to be courageous and contented, Clara, she called to her egg as the wind carried her away. Clara lay curled in the egg case for a considerable time. Eventually, a crowd of caterpillars clustered around her. She's incredibly late coming out, commented one. She's very cautious, agreed another. A curious caterpillar knocked on Clara's egg case. This is Cornelius, he said. Come on out. But I'm comfortable in here, called Clara. Who cares if she comes out, scoffed a scowling caterpillar called Katisha. It's clear she'll only be a cabbage caterpillar. Cabbage caterpillars are so common. Don't be cruel, Katisha, Cornelius scolded. Cabbage caterpillars are cute. Did you say cabbage, cried Clara. Cabbage sounds scrumptious. So Clara cut a hole in her egg case and clambered out. I'm a lucky caterpillar, she said. Cornelius, come and share this delectable cabbage. Clara and Cornelius climbed and crawled and campered about. They had carefree caterpillar fun. They crammed themselves with cabbage, carrots, and cauliflower leaves. They grew into colossal caterpillars. Then one day, Cornelius called. Clara, come and make your chrysalis. Don't encourage her, mocked Katisha. She's only going to become a common cabbage butterfly. Why is Katisha being catty? Clara asked. Katisha is conceited, comforted Cornelius. She knows she'll become an attractive crimson-colored butterfly. And crimson is another word for red. Then, Clara, Cornelius, and the other caterpillars caught on to the cabbage carrot and cauliflower plants with tiny threads. They crinkled and discarded their skins and cuddled down inside their chrysalises. I'm crushed in here. I hate being cooped up. I'm cramped. I'm creased. I'm crumpled. I'm coiled like a corkscrew. My back tickles. It's making me cranky. I can't scratch. I can't cope, complained Katisha. Cooey, cried Cornelius to Clara. Are you comfortable? Actually, I'm very cozy, Clara called back. Then, one morning, the chrysalises began to crack and out climbed delicate creatures. Cool, cried Clara. You all look captivating. Cornelius, you're a terrific copper color. Why is that scruffy creature conversing with us? complained a scowling, crimson-colored butterfly. Katisha, Clara said, you are spectacular. Of course, replied Katisha. And you, Clara, are so cream. I think cream is cute, declared Cornelius. Cute, Katisha snickered. Don't be ridiculous, Cornelius. Then, Katisha climbed towards the clouds on her scaly cobweb wings. Suddenly, a crow cawed and scared everyone. Snack time, he exclaimed as he caught sight of the crimson-colored Katisha. The butterflies panicked and frantically scattered in all directions. You can't escape, screeched the crow to Katisha. Katisha, I'm coming to the rescue, cried Clara. Clara, be careful, screamed Cornelius. Plucking up her courage, Clara flicked her wings at the crow. Catch me if you can, you scalawag, she taunted. Then Clara curved down and ducked into a camilla bush, and a camilla is a type of flower you can see right here. The crow became confused and forgot about Katisha. He cocked his head and pecked in the petals, but Clara, the cream-colored butterfly, lay camouflaged behind a curtain of cream-colored camellias. That's curious, complained the crestfallen crow. I was confident I could capture a succulent snack. The coast is clear, Cornelia shouted. The crisis is over. Congratulations, Clara, complimented the other butterflies. Clara, you're so clever, cried the shocked Katisha. I could never camouflage myself like you. I'm too colorful. I was crazy to scoff at your cream color. It's incredible. 
And cute too, declared Cornelius. Cornelius clapped his wings. Listen carefully, he commanded. That crow is a scoundrel. Let's cling close to Clara. Clara, can you stop him from catching us? Clara is so capable and courageous. Clara is lucky to be cream colored, said Katisha. And I'm a completely contented butterfly, said Clara. And that is the end of our story, Clara Caterpillar. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will be back soon with another read aloud. Bye, guys.